So Ms. Mklongo finally responded to the public after he received backlash days ago over a mysterious WhatsApp screenshot he had posted after the passing of Mpongeni Ngema was announced. Many people had scrutinized the screenshot and immediately accused Sumizi of lying as they alleged that he had sent himself the WhatsApp message. So he finally gave his side of the story in an Instagram video. Please watch till the end. Hi guys. So, hey, this past week, so usually I'm not the type that I've promised myself which I will never ever again, you know, explain myself especially on social media but this one i need explanation and you deserve an explanation so i posted a few days ago a few days after the passing of putumongen i posted a message that he sent me right and i get it why there was a huge hoo-ha about it now let me explain i'm explaining because you deserve an explanation it being you calendar being me you know to a point where i was like I have to correct this now here's what happened at the when it happened i was like i don't need to explain to anyone but here's what happened Shh. when i got the message when putumongeni passed on there's a group called mbongeni tribute it's a group that we've had for the past five years it's all the cast members in that group right so when i heard about the passing we were talking to the group and I was telling the group, you know, he just sent me a message like this a few days ago and I wanted to share it with them. So in the, in the evening, that evening, I share the message. But you know when you search, you, you type in Bongeni and then you send. There's a few Mbongenis that come, but because my mind was not okay, I just sent it to Mbongeni. I think the, the group didn't even get the message. Then I let it go. In the morning when I posted, I went to Mbongeni's um, uh, cont message and I sent the same message that I said I thought I'd sent to the group just for the sake of you guys seeing the message not realizing that it, it is a message that looks like I have sent it myself to Mbongeni I hope I'm making sense and I'm never going to explain this again but I get it why there was a huge uproar and I am not the type not at all. I was just sharing how special um, this message was and how amazing that it happened a few days before he passed on. And that's that's what the mistake, that, that was the mistake that happened. So, whether you believe it or you don't, I, I said it against me. Explain it again this time. No! I they went for me. Mina, I'm very strong, but this time I felt so bad. I felt like shit and it was justifiable. So, whoever I began to do and stuff, Justifiable. Whoever they got to be so and so, justifiable. But now, here's the explanation. Take it, don't take it. We have to move on. We have to move forward. I love you guys. There's nothing else to put more in. Put more in my chair. Look at one, two minutes message later before harm. But eh, uh, believe it or don't, I want to look. That's the name pillow. And I didn't want it to outshine or to, to out whatever my morning process. You know, because Umwabo is on Friday and I wanted it to get it over and done with. So, Tara, I was going to close the comment section, but no, I, I'm being covered. Comment and tell me what you think. Sharp, sharp. Ah! Social media. But also because woman who so means, even if I coughed, it was going to be a pandemic. It comes with a territory. Happy 2024 tune.